After an extensive year and a half long search, today NASA has named a new group of potential astronauts who are going to help the agency push the boundaries of exploration and travel to new destinations in the solar system. There are eight candidates who've been selected as NASA's newest astronaut trainees. Uh, they are hope to be among those who will be the first to launch from the um, United States on commercial American spacecraft. Uh, this 2013 astronaut class, the uh, 21st class in NASA history, uh, comes from the second largest number of applications NASA ever received, more than 6,000 people who applied to be astronauts this time around. And of the eight candidates, half of them are women. And that makes this, this the highest percentage of female astronaut candidates ever selected for a class. This group will get uh, a wide range of uh, technical training at space centers and remote locations all around the world to prepare for missions to low Earth orbit, an asteroid, on to Mars. Uh, the candidates will be discussed this afternoon at a uh, Google Plus Hangout that will begin at 3 o'clock Houston time this afternoon. We'll have some more information on that for you in a minute. But first, I'll introduce you to the newest astronaut candidates in the United States. First is Josh, Josh A. Cassida, Ph.D. He's uh, 39 years old, originally from White Bear Lake, Minnesota. Cassida is a former naval aviator who holds an undergraduate degree from Albion College and advanced degrees from the University of Rochester in New York. Cassida is a physicist by training. He is currently serving as the co-founder and chief technology officer for Quantum Opus. The next is Victor J. Glover. He's a 37 years old a lieutenant commander in the United States Navy and hails from Pomona, California and Prosper, Texas. Glover is an F-18 pilot and a graduate of the U.S. Air Force Test Pilot School in Edwards, California. He holds degrees from the California Polytechnic State University in San Luis Obispo, the Air University and Naval Postgraduate School in Monterey, California. He is currently serving as a Navy Legislative Fellow in the U.S. Congress. The next is uh, Tyler N. Haig, known as Nick. Nick Haig is 37, a lieutenant colonel in the U.S. Air Force who calls Hoxie, Kansas his home. He's a graduate of the U.S. Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in Cambridge, Massachusetts, as well as the U.S. Air Force Test Pilot School in Edwards, California. Haig is currently supporting the Department of Defense as the deputy chief of the Joint Improvised Explosive Device Defeat Organization. The next is a Christina M. Hammock, age 34, from Jacksonville, North Carolina. Hammock holds undergraduate and graduate degrees from North Carolina State University in Raleigh, North Carolina. She is currently serving as the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration Station Chief in American Samoa. Our next is a Nicole Onapu Mann, age 35 and a major in the U.S. Marine Corps. A uh, man is originally from Pengrove, California. She is a graduate of the U.S. Naval Academy, Stanford University, and the U.S. Naval Test Pilot School in Patuxent River, Maryland. Man is an F-18 pilot currently serving as an integrated product team lead at the U.S. Naval Air Station, Patuxent River. Next on our list today, Ann C. McLean, age 34, major in the U.S. Army, lists her hometown as Spokane, Washington. McLean is a graduate of the U.S. Military Academy at West Point, the University of Bath, and the University of Bristol, both in the United Kingdom. McLean is an OH-58 helicopter pilot and a recent graduate of the U.S. Naval Test Pilot School at Naval Air Station Patuxent River. Number seven on the list today, Jessica U. Muir, Ph.D., Dr. Muir is 35 years old from Caribou, Maine. She's a graduate of Brown University and has an advanced degree from the International Space University. She earned her doctorate from Scripps Institution of Oceanography. Muir is currently an associate professor of anesthesia at the Harvard Medical School and the Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston. And our eighth new astronaut candidate, Andrew R. Morgan, M.D., age 37 and a major in the U.S. Army. Dr. Moore considers Newcastle, Pennsylvania his home. He's a graduate of the U.S. Military Academy at West Point, earned a Doctor of Medicine from the Uniformed Services University of the Health, of the Health Sciences in Bethesda, Maryland. 
He has experience as an emergency physician and a flight surgeon for the Army Special Operations Community. He's currently completing a sports medicine fellowship. Dr. Morgan and his uh, seven colleagues in the 21st class of astronaut candidates will begin their training at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston later this summer. They will be reporting for duty in August. I mentioned we'll be discussing these selections coming up this afternoon in a Google Plus Hangout that will include recorded video introductions from the astronaut candidates. And we'll also be discussing the selection and the training process. And NASA's social media followers can submit questions on Twitter and Google Plus in advance and during the event. Uh, you should be using the hashtag AskNASA. Now before that hangout begins, NASA will open a thread on its Facebook page where the questions can be posted. The hangout can be viewed live on NASA's Google Plus page or on NASA television. Uh, to join the hangout, you should go to uh, http colon slash slash go.nasa.gov slash 126-M-O-L-K. Uh, reporters can ask questions on the Hangout using a phone bridge that is managed uh, here at the Johnson Space Center. To participate during the phone bridge, uh, journalists should call the Johnson Space Center newsroom at 281-483-5111 by 2.45 Central Time this afternoon. To participate in the uh, Google Plus Hangout with the eight new astronaut candidates announced today, the 21st class of astronauts serving the National Aeronautics and Space Administration.